guys, and today I'm going to rank all of the, of the Phase 4 movies um, by excitement. Now, I know this video is super late. I know that Kevin Feige announced these movies back in July. Now, I saw um, all the movies slate. Um, I saw it, but for some reason, why well, I made one of this video, but like for some reason, it wouldn't save. I don't know why. It just didn't. So, um, yeah, now I'm making it now. Hope you guys are okay with that. And special thanks to Anakin fan um, for like um, letting me do this video because like um, I really the other video like I was just um, reviewing the movies now I'm ranking them but like I got the idea from Anakin fan something I it was like numbers but you can see this video down in the description so if you want to see his video just click this go in the description and watch his ranking. So yeah, let's let's get started. Coming in last place for excitement is Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Now, like, really, the only reason why the only reason why this movie is at the bottom of the list is that I have no idea who Shang Chi is. I have no input on him. All I know is that he's an Asian martial artist and he's in Marvel. That's all I know about him. I don't know I have, if like he's related to like Iron Fist or something. I have no idea. So yeah, that's really why this movie is held back. But I'm still excited for this because like it said, that the real Mandarin, not the fake one in Iron Man 3, the real Mandarin is going to be in this movie. And as you can see, it's entitled The like, uh, Legend of Ten Rings because literally, um, like, um, he had this, like, in the comics, Mandarin had rings that had power coming out of them. So, yeah, yeah, just the only reason why is it is at the bottom of the list because I don't know anything about it. Probably I'm gonna be wrong, I'm gonna love the movie because I like every Marvel movie, but still, it's I don't know anything about it, so yeah. Then, in second to last place, is The Eternals. Now, again. This movie is only at the bottom of the list just because I don't know anything about the internals. I have absolutely zero input on them. Um, really, they just are a new super team. And really, what? And like, I'm, unlike Shane T, I know nothing about it. Now you're probably wondering then why is the internals on the last place? It's because, like, usually now they're. There's usually a bunch of, every every new team that came out of Marvel is a fan favorite. First there was Avengers, then, then Guardians of the Galaxy, and now the Eternals. The Avengers and Guardians of the Galaxy were, were both super good movies and, um, what's it called, uh, uh, teams. So yeah, I'm thinking probably it'll be a new super team, so... Yeah, I'm really excited for the, I guess I'm excited for the Eternals. I just don't know anything about them. Next up is the What If series on Disney+. Plus. Now, actually, I'm really excited about this, um, like, series. Like, I read the What If comics, like, are very famous. And I actually really, really like them. Really, what it is is just, what if this happened? Really, what the Marvel is thinking of um, is one of the... Um, episodes is what if, what if Peggy Carter became Captain America? Um, uh, but now I'm really excited about the series. The only reason this is held at, back is because of first of all, I'm excited for all the other movies, and second of all, like really I don't know what they're gonna do with the series. And like it's an animated um series. Um, though the um more the. Uh, Characters gonna play their characters like Chris Hunter is still gonna play Thor, but like I still I don't know what is gonna what they're gonna do with this because it's the first Marvel um like um animated show. It's the first Marvel animated thing connected to the MCU, so I have no idea what they're gonna do with this. Uh, just yeah, I'm still excited for this. Oh, voice crack. <laughs> um, uh, but just still. I don't, I don't know what they're going to do with this. Next up, we have Blade. Now, I'm actually 
really excited for this movie. I love Blade. He's a fan favorite of mine. Like, um, um, like in the comics. Um, just like, I, I, I hate to put this all the way back here. Really, the only reason why it's back here because I'm is because I'm excited for all the other um, movies and TV shows. Like, anyway, I, I'm I'm excited for this movie definitely. Like, um, I I wish I could put it up there higher. Blade is just amazing. I love like um the other movies and um like this his character. So yeah, I I don't have any hate input on this. I just. Just the only reason why it's back here is because I'm excited for all the other ones more. So yeah, no, like, no, I, no, uh, in positive, I, I totally forgot the word. Like the opposite of positive, I totally forgot the word. Next we have the Hawkeye series on Disney+. Plus. Now, like, really, I'm excited for this. <laughs> oh, I'm just, I'm really excited. Just maybe an unpopular opinion. Sure, he Hawkeye is the least favorite out of the original six Avengers, but I, I still really like him. Like I love how really he's just a normal person, normal family guy, just an Avenger. Sure, like his powers are lame, but but still like uh, I mean I mean like I like the arrows and stuff, and like they they say they said that Kate Bishop is gonna be in here, which is. Really, um, Hawkeye's daughter who takes on the mantle of, um, Hawkeye. And I'm really excited for this. So this is my excited. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. Eh. Uh, well, well, like, I'm more excited. I have more to say about this. But I don't know what else to say. I have more to say, but I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Though, next we have... One, the Wanda and Vision series on Disney Plus. Now, like, re really, I'm wondering what they're gonna do with this series because Vision is dead. Like, he died in Infinity War. Um, so really, he's been dead for seven years um, in the MCU. Wait, no, five years in the MCU. I don't know why I said seven. Um, so, like, um, re really, um, like, are they gonna build a new Vision? Or is it gonna take place like in the past, like what Wanda and Vision did in um, like Scotland in the two years? But I have no idea what they're gonna do with this series. That's why I'm excited for it. It could do anything. But that's the same with the What If series. Look, I'm excited for all of these movies and TV shows in Phase Four. So like, when, when I put one in last, this I should have said that at the beginning. Well, on to the next one. Next we have the Black Widow solo movie. Now, like, this one I am really excited for because really, um, Black Widow's origin isn't really, um, explained. Really, the only time it's kind of explained is in Avengers Age of Ultron and her vision. Like, I have, like, um, uh, so, like, I'm really excited about this. It says that, um, uh, it's going... Like, it's going to ha happen after Civil War, and Black Widow goes back to Budapest. And, like, I'm um, probably just going to have a lot of um, memories and stuff, the flashbacks, and then I'll show her. And I'm wondering, just, like, <laughs> what they're going to do with the series. I mean, not series, I mean, movie. I'm really excited for this movie. <laughs> like, really excited. Next, we have the Loki series on Disney+. Plus. Now I am super duper duper derp, duper duper derp, duper excited for this um series because like I'm really Loki is one of my favorite villains. It's actually my second favorite, right behind Thanos. Um and like I I just am amazingly excited about this because it also because it says that this is gonna take place um. After Loki got the test rack in Avengers Endgame, like the 2012 Loki, and like I'm and like, what will happen? What 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 does Loki do? Like I'm I'm still 
I, I, I'm super excited about this. Like, what happens in that alternate reality? Like, this. I am amazingly excited about this. Next, we have the Falcon Winter Soldier series on Disney Plus. I am so excited for this series. Um, uh, like ever since Captain America left the MCU, I was so sad. Like, but when he passed on to Anthony Falcon, like, um, people were saying, why didn't he pass it on to Bucky? Well, like, really, it's because Bucky, um, people. The world still sees him as a villain, and then people will think wrong that Captain America was choosing him. But I don't think that even matters anymore because, like, in the series, they say that Falcon and Winter Soldier are going to be passing on the mantle. Like, um, sometimes, um, like, um, the Winter Soldier will be wearing Cap Shield, and the other time, oh, wait, no, I have Cap Shield right here. Oh, and other times, Falcon will be carrying Cap Shield. So, yeah. Now I feel weird. This is like, I'm ready. Alright, I'm really excited for this like, show. Next, we have Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, like I am a extremely excited about this movie. It's it's number two, obviously. Um, because like Doctor Strange is one of my favorite like MCU heroes. Sure, he's a little late, but still, like I I love him. Um, uh, and like really, this seems like they're fully going to explore the multiverse in on um, the in the MCU. It was first mentioned in Doctor Strange. Strange, it was just mentioned. Then it's far, far from home. It was just like the fake multiverse. It wasn't a real one. But now I'm sure they're now going to fully explain the multiverse. And this could open up um the door to so many different characters. Because in the comics, you could, there's so many characters from other dimensions in the comics. Um, from a this, that it just opens the door for all those people. They've been locked up in a little cage and like in, in a little cage for like for eleven years. Uh and boy, wait, this movie coming out in twenty twenty one. Oh, well then, for for thirteen years, and then the then they um DMC and then Kevin Feige finally unlocks the door, and then they just bust out. Yeah, so. I am really excited about this movie. But in first place, I had to give it to Thor Love and Thunder. Well, what can I say? <laughs> I am amazingly excited for this movie. Because, like, um, first of all, besides me, of course, uh, like, uh, Thor is my favorite, um, Marvel superhero it did not include me because then I I would be it, but not, uh, not including me. Thor is my favorite character, and like as you all know, now Thor has hit a rough spot in his life. Um, now he's like really depressed, but I'm sure that depression is sealed now since like now like um all the like, people are back, and like um re really um like Thor's story hour now is. Far from over, far, and like um, ah, uh, and like, really just like, we, we, I'm just super excited about this uh, movie. And it said that Jane Foster or Natalie Portman is returning as Jane Foster as Lady Thor, and like, I, and that is amazing. <laughs> I'm super excited. But like, um, the, and this wasn't in the Comic Con. Thing, but like it was later revealed that um um like with that um enchantress is gonna be um one of the villains which i love enchantress and i think some orange uh, i don't know um the god butcher is also gonna be it and just uh, i am super excited about this movie so it comes in at number one so yeah, that's my ranking for all, uh, I think 12? 
12 or 11 or 12 um, Marvel Phase 4 movies ranked by excitement. Now, don't forget to check out Anakin Fan's um, video on the Anakin Fan that landed off with Kaboom, which had me on there. I'm getting it in the mail. But, <laughs> okay, and I can recreate the scene there if it's in game that captures that Stormbreaker instead, so I'm gonna be like, just end it off. End it!